Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Grizzly Spay. The hook I have in a vise is a 200R number 12. This is a three extra long semi-dropped nymph dry hook and you can get that from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to use 70 denier black thread but first I'm going to use 10 thousandths lead wire or lead free wire and we're going to wrap the middle section and this what this is going to do is keep that fly from raising rising too high to the surface when you let it swing in the current we're going to keep that lead about one eye length from the eye of the hook and we'll start the thread behind the eye and we're going to push that lead forward as we go to keep it up front and we'll taper off the lead towards the rear break that off bring our thread down and we're going to bring that down around the bend slightly to where the thread will hang at the barb for our tail I have three barbels of pheasant center tail and we want that to be about the length of the shank and we tie that in and we'll get rid of that excess I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tag so I can secure it a little better I'm going to use a fine gold wire I'll tie that in right there and now we're secure everything a little bit better there we go now for the body I'm going to use a gray Antron blend dubbing And when you're dubbed, you don't want to put too much on at a time. You can always add more. I'm going to taper it in the front, make it thicker in the middle. And then taper it on the other end. We're going to come down, wrap this. Need just a pinch more. Bring that up to about one eye length. Now our hackle, we're going to use a grizzly hackle and this is a pretty stiff hackle it's from a rooster cape I'm going to tie that in right at the front put my hackle pliers on it I'm going to start out by putting a couple of wraps right in the front. Then I'm going to palmer it back through. And bring that right down to the tail. When we reach there, we take our gold wire and secure that and palmer that back forward 
wiggle that around a little bit so you don't trap down too many hackle fibers. Right up front, and we're going to tie that off. Then we're going to take that and helicopter that off. There we go. take our poke and snip and remove the hackle tip from the rear I'm going to come back on those hackles just a couple of one or two wraps to kind of push them towards the rear there a little bit now for our wing I have a barred flank feather and this is kind of a soft one. We're going to tie that in. I'm going to tie that in. It's going to be pretty large right now. Put a few securing wraps and then we're going to pull it to length. And we want that just into the tail there. And then we'll secure that. Go ahead and remove the excess. Clean up the head. Take our whip finisher. that tight and then we'll finish it off with head cement and here we have a grizzly spay fly hope that you learned something from this hope that you would subscribe to my channel Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.